a plunger pump is a high pressure positive displacement pump that relies on the periodic change of a sealed working volume to achieve oil suction and discharge. Its core working principle is based on Pascal's law, utilizing the incompressible nature of liquid to efficiently convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy. Its main structure includes key components such as the pump body, cylinder block, plunger set, port plate or valve plate, swash plate or eccentric camshaft, and drive shaft. The working cycle begins when the drive shaft rotates the cylinder block. The plungers, typically connected to the swash plate via sliding shoes or ball joints, are housed in bores within the rotating cylinder block. Due to the inclined angle of the swash plate relative to the cylinder block's axis or the eccentricity of the camshaft, the plungers are forced to reciprocate linearly within their bores as the cylinder block rotates. When a plunger moves outward from its bore, the sealed working chamber formed between the plunger bottom and the bore wall expands, creating a partial vacuum. At this point, the pump's suction chamber is connected to the reservoir through the suction port on the port plate. Hydraulic oil is drawn into this expanding chamber under atmospheric pressure or supply pressure. This is the suction stroke. As the cylinder block continues to rotate, the plunger constrained by the swash plate or eccentric cam, begins to retract into its bore. The working chamber volume decreases, compressing the trapped fluid and rapidly increasing its pressure. When the chamber volume has reduced sufficiently and rotated into alignment with the discharge port on the port plate, the pressurized oil is forced out into the pump's outlet port and onward to the system. This is the discharge stroke. For each complete revolution of the cylinder block, each plunger completes one full suction and discharge cycle. Multiple plungers are usually arranged uniformly around the circumference of the cylinder block. Their suction and discharge strokes are phase shifted, occurring alternately, which results in relatively continuous flow output with low pulsation.